Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Engage. Between episodes, I have done all of the random stuff we usually do, but I have also had a look at this and I've set it up because we finished all of the ones we did previously. So, I've used the three that we have. Forgado Lapis was the one that we started last time, I believe, and I'm just advancing it. I advanced it to the point of it being a conversation. And Bunei Alfred was one that was suggested a while ago, so I have advanced that to the point where we can have a conversation. So, we're all ready to go on that. Um, while we walk over here, though, and before we have the first of our supports, I do want to talk about fishing. One, I've decided I hate fishing. Which, you know, to be fair, I decided before we started. But two, I was reading a guide on fishing and I found the most insane person. They were like, hey, if you want to do more fishing, then what you should do is you should leave all your power logs until after chapter 20 where you get the better rods. Because then you can do 10 fishing per power log. And I just went, what? Who are you? Why are you? I don't get it. It's insanity. Anyway. Um, let us do our first support. Our first support is gonna be between Fogado and Lapis. And if we like it, then we will do another meal with Fogado and Lapis. If we don't like it, well, then it's getting discarded. So let's see how it goes. <sighs> what am I gonna do? About what, Prince Fogado? Oh, hey, Lapis. You know I'm in charge of the Sentinels, yeah? We've got a real thorn in our side. A group of rogues making trouble by an oasis in Solm. They're a slippery bunch. Even with our numbers, we can't stamp them out. Have you considered making a device that will get rid of the rogues for you? You know, something that can drive them off without you having to lift a finger. What? Hmm. Not a bad idea. But I don't know anyone who could make something like that. Me, of course. You? I'm pretty crafty. Ever since I was young, I've been able to make everything I needed. So yeah, I bet I could whip something up. All right, let's give it a whirl. Tell me if you need any materials. See if you can find any trash or tree branches lying around. That ought to do it. What? Really? Yeah, the sooner you get that stuff, the sooner those rogues will be out of your hair. Um, all right. I'll go trawling for anything that looks useful then. Me? Desperate? No, I'm just trying to solve my problems with a big pile of trash. All right, then. I, I think that was acceptable enough. Yeah. Let's let's have a little bit of food between them. Ah, uh, it's the divine dragon. Yeah, you don't need to sound surprised. We go on every single trip together. You never leave the party. Why would you sound surprised that I'm here? Or maybe he's like, it's the Divine Dragon again. Oh, I've been trying to ditch this guy. He keeps following me. He keeps taking me places. Uh, they're best at creme brulee. Obviously good. Uh, let's put some fruit on top of that. Let's go. I'll prepare the offering. Just one moment. Failing is not an option. I'll just add a bit of this and that and... Ah! Was that good? Ah, uh, or bad? Ah. Uh. I shall pay whatever penance is due. Oh no. I just can't make myself like it. Sorry, my tongue won't cooperate. I may not like it, but I'm gonna finish every bite. Can't let the ingredients go to waste. Uh. Oh no. E. Not quite right, creme brulee. At least it gave us speed plus two. That's not. Terrible. But the look in his eyes, he's like, oh my god, I have failed, my god. And well, he has. Also, I forgot to change the music. There we go. Let's have some different music as we leave the area that actually has the music playing. Perfect. Perfectly timed. You know the interesting thing about this one as well? I just realized, after we do this episode, there's no inventory management to use because we barely did any like stuff with the inventory. I think all we need to do is apply a couple of elixirs and off we go. So, we're pretty much good to go. Um, right, who needs XP? Zelkov is very close. He's probably the right choice. Um, he is indeed the right choice. Yeah, Zelkov. Okay, let's go. I am Zelkov, retainer to Princess Ivy. I am Theo, 
the dragon princess. Oh no, Vale. <laughs> it's not gonna go well for you. Fortunate, this was merely a training Even her 1% crit had no chance. Okay, strength is good. Build does not matter in the slightest, but strength is good. Okay. Uh, let's see who we got. Have we got anyone who's like right next to it? Also, I was wondering if he had more greens. No, he seems to have the same number of greens as he usually has. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, could do some seed all. I think I probably want to do Veil. Well, Gold Mary is not that far off. Let's go Gold Mary. It's been a while since she's gained a level. Gold Mary, humble soldier of Illusia. I'm Lapis, a royal soldier of Brodia. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry that you stood no chance. Mm-hmm. Hey, conversation available. That's what we like to see here. Gold Mary Lapis, let's do this again. I see not necessarily Lapis, someone else. Prepare to be awestruck. Etie here, busting in once again. Mm. They were the potato conversation. We've already had no this. Yeah. Great level up. Strength, defense. It's actually pretty much perfect. Speed would be the only thing we'd be we'd like on top of that, but I think our speed is capped, isn't it? Um Where are we? Gold Mary? Speed? No, her speed isn't capped, her res is capped. Okay. But still, like, that was pretty good. Her defense is 38? Just for comparison, what's Louis? 42. So her defense right now is only, like, four less than Louis. It's actually five higher than Mauvier and Mauvier's. And her, like, HP is significantly higher than his. Not than Louis, but, you know, she is actually extremely tanky. She may not seem it at first glance, but she is extremely tanky. Right. Now, we have bond fragments, so what we should do here is we should just look for people who have skills that are, like, near a level, and then we should just bond fragments them up. Uh, let's go from the bottom of the list and then up. That would be better. So Hortensia, she, her skills, let's have a look, it's quality time and HP. Quality time comes from Byleth right? Not Violet. That comes from Corin. Yeah, so we could actually get them both up here. I could level her Corin one. We can get better HP and then more quality time. I don't know if that one's necessary, but that's okay. Let's go then to Jean. Jean, on the other hand, I think it might be necessary on. Yeah, let's maybe level Jean and Corin up as far as we can get here. Yeah, we might as well go to 20. Okay, Jean and Corin. Let's see how it goes, because I think him having more HP would be useful, right? And at the very, even if not, like either HP or the quality time is going to be useful for him. If we decide to switch what he's doing later, we switch what he's doing later. But honestly, this seems like it would be pretty good. How much HP is he getting right now, by the way? Um, what's his current HP? I, I just went out of the menu I was looking at. Seven. Yeah, so he's going to get an extra 8 HP. That's not bad. That's pretty, that makes him like a significant amount tank here. So let's go. I'm, uh, Jean. Should I really be here? I am Corin. I'm looking forward to this. Let's see. Oh? Jean has a chance of winning. He just needs to hit all of his abilities. One more. This there we go. Pains me. I think I've grown up a Actually, he could afford to miss one, because if he misses one, then he still has a double attack on the last hit. If both sides agreed not to target doctors, there'd be a lot fewer casualties in war. That's a nice thought, Corin. It's true, though. If we could manage that, we'd all be better off. Okay, then. Um, makes me wonder whether Karin has some kind of doctor thing in her story. But who knows? It could just be a random thing. Let us never forget that uh, Louis, one of Roy, was both I'm of her letters, both of her training. names have consonants My at the name end. is Corin, ready to fight. So, you know, like, 
it doesn't necessarily mean anything. <laughs> and to which Roy went, yeah, sure. Very much with the, and I'm going to leave now, kind of uh, voice. Except I can't, because I'm physically attached to you as a ring. We might as well go to this. We spend 500 for uh, dialogue. I'm, uh, Jean. Should I really be here? I am Corin. I'm looking forward to this. I think I've grown up a little. Hey, Jean won two out of three. Not bad. When a doctor saves a soldier, they also save the soldier's whole family. It's a good thing. She's really into doctors, huh? Yeah. Every life matters to a lot of people. I want to help there be fewer tragedies of war. If there was even one more doctor like you, I think that peace would be within our grasp. Thank you, Corin. That means a lot to me. I'll work my hardest to be a first-rate doctor. Okay, they're say starting to say doctor to the point where it's losing all meaning, but that's okay. We've got it. Um, it really makes me think there must be something going on with Corrin's story, but maybe they're just like, the devs were like, this is a good opportunity to say how good doctors are. I mean, they're pretty good in terms of, you know, everything. I'm just like, it seems like a very odd character trait to just be like, did I tell you I like doctors? Doctors are great. It's like, it's just odd. Uh, I don't know how many we need. I think we need two point. Wait. We need 2,000 for the health. How much do we need for the rest of it? Before I start overspending. Um, we need 2.5 plus 250. 1,000 from here would do it. I've spent, I've done one too many. Yeah, a thousand from here would do it. I suppose I could do it optimally, but let's not worry about that. Right, uh, one more expert book. Use. Right, and now we can buy. Right. Um, where are we? Inherit skills. Jean. Go over to Karin. We want to buy this one. And this one. So we now have a Jean who has a lot more HP. He now heals 10 to adjacent allies instead of 5, which is a significant amount more. And uh, Jean also has a weapon which is more powerful than last time we used Jean because he has the plus 4 weapon. So now he's got 58 health, he's got a plus 4 weapon. He's, you know, he's starting to get there. I definitely think he's starting to get there. It does say user takes five more damage on this one. I'm wondering if I want to get rid of his Vuln. And maybe get rid of Vuln and give him another weapon to use when he's not attacking. Yeah, that might be that might make sense. Do we have another weapon for him to use? Why am I doing trades? Here we go. Uh, we do have a shielding art. Yeah, I think we swap that with the Vuln. And then he can use that when he isn't uh, attacking people. And I think that will help, actually, a lot of him surviving. Five extra defense. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Okay, cool. Well, we're done here, because we're out of bond fragments again. And it's time for us to head to the... Room. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to rest. That's the plan, anyway. Right. Rest. Let's see who we get. And can I identify them? Not been doing so well recently. Got a live one this morning. Saphir? Hold still! So strong! S slippery! Great! You're on the floor now. What's your escape plan, genius? Hey, how are you doing that? Come back! We've got a runaway fish on the loose. How far can it get, though, right? I'll send word to the kitchen. It's only a matter of time. Well, that was a weird one. Not that these are generally unweird, but that was definitely a weird one. Okay, um, that was, I guess, 
Um, C1. Oh, that was B1. We've had two with Saphir already? We've done so many of these, I just don't remember. Okay, well that's fine. They're just blending in. Right. References. We got a lot to do. Um, Let's start with us and Moviers. B level support. I've been thinking about how you said you are not a good person. I heartily disagree. For example, I've watched you go out of your way to help people in town. My past actions serve as evidence that I am otherwise. I strive now only for penance. I once wished to live a humble life. I followed the Fell Dragon as I was taught. That path led to my becoming the enemy of many. Most notably, you. But those days are gone. Anything I say will be a weak excuse for my part in my own downfall. I failed to stop Lady Vale or the Rampage of the Four Hounds. So long as I bear those sins, I am unworthy of redemption or forgiveness. My acts of kindness toward the people of this town are only a selfish attempt at atonement. <sighs> Any words of praise from anyone, especially you, give me no pleasure. Only suffering. How long do you expect your penance to last? I do not know. I do not think my work will be done, even after death. I am guilty of too much to hope otherwise. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, it's a fair perspective from Mavir's side, right? I mean, he was kind of like the villain. It's kind of like, yeah, just because you're on the good guy's side now doesn't negate the fact that you were kind of the villain. Uh, right. There's Mavir in a very odd pose. Hobbies. Helping people. Talents. Keeping guard with no need for sleep. Background. Born in Firinae. His mother took him to Elusia after his father's death. There he met Vale and served as one of the four hounds. Not a good game to be a father in. You know? A lot of dead fathers. Right. Seedol and Vale. Let's go. Seedol, your fortune the other day. It was right. What do you mean? I did what you said. I went to the market and pretended to be a cat. That is, I meowed a lot. Okay. Really? But I told you to ignore my reading. I thought I'd give it a try. You know, just for fun. But then, something amazing happened. Just imagine if you're an ordinary person at the market, one of the shopkeepers. And you see Vale. You know she was a fell drag. You know she is the fell dragon's daughter. You know that she was the person who's been, you know, fighting us. This person who's been killing people. And she's, she's now one of the good guys. Then you see her go to the market and start meowing all over the place. What do you do? Um, I would personally be on the run and hide camp, but we'll see. I meowed and meowed, and I sounded so much like a cat. All the mice fled from the market. It made everyone at the market very happy. So happy, they gave me tasty treats to say thanks. Yeah, yeah, to say thanks. They definitely didn't give you the treats to appease the fell dragon who murdered everyone. It was all so exciting that suddenly I wasn't the least bit tired anymore. Your fortune was right. Really? It felt so off when I said it. But if it was right on the mark, then I'm back. Though, I don't think I'll be spreading that bit of news around. What do you mean? You're very kind, Lady Vale. You really are. I lose my confidence, and you go and make up this adorable story just to cheer me up. And it has cheered me up. So, thank you. Don't say that. I'm telling the truth. I really am. I will be very mad if you don't believe me. Okay, okay. If it's going to be like that, then... I believe you. Satisfied? Now, since I've done as you asked and believed your story, allow me to read your fortune again. If that's what you want, of course. <sighs> All is revealed. Under a full moon, gather petals glowing gold. 
Then comes true a wish so bold. Gather flower petals that are golden and glowing, and there's a full moon? How strange. I don't really understand what it means, but I guess I can try. Okay. Interesting. Um, next up we have Gold Mary and Lapis. Let's see where this goes. Thank you so much for all your help, Lapis. My parents wrote to let me know that the bears have stopped giving them trouble. That's great! What a relief. They sent this along to thank you. Huh? Wait a second. Is this... An invitation to relax and enjoy your stay at my family's inn. As soon as the war is over. I may be biased, but I really do think you'll find our hot springs to be the finest in the world. Wow, that sounds like such a treat. Thanks. I have to say, Gold Mary, I'm surprised you're from a little village. You're so sophisticated. <laughs> Don't be silly. You're right, though. Go on. <laughs> Let me guess. You were born in a rural area, and then raised in the big city? No. I lived in my home village until just a few years ago. I was there right until I had to leave for the academy, actually. Ah, <sighs> your village must be way different than mine. I'd be curious to hear about the differences. Sure thing. Next time we talk, I'll tell you all about where I grew up. I'll even make us lunch. I know just the thing to whip up for the occasion. Wonderful! Usually, I'm the one making the food, so this will be a nice change of pace. I'm looking forward to spending more time with you. Okay. Well, that's an interesting one. Hmm. Yeah, it might be good to get the final one there. And then, I've been told this one might be funny. Bune and Alfred. We haven't spent a lot of time with Bune, but this is his opportunity to wow us. Prince Alfred, might I ask you for a quick lick? Excuse me? Run that by me again, Bune? Forgive me, sir. I can explain more clearly. Those flowers you're wearing. I should quite like to acquaint one of them with my taste buds. You want to taste a flower? Hmm. I seem to have crossed a line. Please disregard my request. <laughs> you're a riot, Bune! <laughs> it's no big deal. I'll see if I can get you a flower like these. You can taste it to your heart's content. Thank you. Speaking of which, Bune, you're looking pretty beefy. Uh-huh. Beefy, you say? Do you mean you would like to have a quick lick yourself? Uh-huh. Uh, no, I'm good. I was just paying you a compliment. <sighs> uh-huh. Wish I could get muscles like yours, but they never seem to develop for me like they should. Hmm. Perhaps you could bulk up by changing your diet. If you'd like, I can cook up something nice and hearty for you. No fooling? I'd love that! Understood. Think of it as payment for one of those appetizing flowers. I will begin gathering ingredients. Please give me some time to prepare. If it fixes my muscle problem, you can take all the time you need. All right, well, we'll see where that one goes. And let me just check something. Bonds? We do have one bond to do. Gold Mary and Leaf. Well, let's see this. Is something the matter? You seem dejected. I am thinking of all the distraction I've inflicted on others in battle with my alluring elegance. Is it selfish that I want you to notice how charming I am even in the middle of a war? Do not trouble yourself over that, Gold Mary. You're a fine ally to have on the battlefield. <laughs> I was expecting, like, a follow-up line. Nope, just, like, absolutely no indication he had heard a word she said. But all right. Well, that is us. We have finished all the supports we had to do. We are completely out. We have no money really to spend on anything. So I think that's us ready to go. Now, for next time, I think it's time that we go back to do the paralogue because we are stronger. We have a newfound respect for other ways of playing the game. 
What I'm thinking we might do on that paralogue, and I'm trying to think of how I describe this without a visual aid. What I'm thinking is, the goal of the paralogue is to kill that unit in the centre, and then to kill the rest as they slowly come in. What I'm wondering is, is there a way in the paralogue for us to go up right, and then up left with the two squads, merge the squads in the centre at the top of the map, defeat the level 3 enemy in that top centre square, and then to work our way back down. I think there might be a way of doing that, but we need to think about it. It's going to involve a little bit of work, but if we can do that, that makes the whole fight much, much easier. So, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Rise from a